Hello everyone, this is Jackie, the French reporter for Watson Headquarters. We are in Los Angeles and we are back at the Hollywood Museum where three exhibits will take place tonight. It's celebrating the 80th anniversary of Batman. We have got the 45th anniversary of Bionic Woman and Six Million Dollar Man. And we have the Cat Women in present. So do not go anywhere, stay with me and let's take a look at who will be walking this fabulous red carpet. You, Brenda! Yeah, it's my favorite French reporter. The French reporter is one of the things that I watched on Instagram. I love it. I absolutely love your stuff that you do. You edit so well. So, Brenda, we are so delighted to have you here for the celebration of three iconic TV shows. Why is it so meaningful for you to be here? My manager, Roger Neal, has put these extraordinary exhibits up that have actually made the Hollywood Museum kind of come into the present time because he's put the superheroes it's the 80th year of Batman so they have the Batman exhibits that he's put in what have you learned to play this incredible character I was so lucky because I worked with Burgess Meredith Cesar Romero and Frank Gorshin I watched them they had been in the business longer than I was who was your favorite well I'm a Batman fan Who's your favorite? Actually, um, I like them all. Bionic Woman's pretty amazing. And I love Bionic Woman because it was a woman. I watched the Bionic Woman and the Six Million Dollar Man and I wanted to be Lindsay Wagner. When I got to do a movie with her, one of my first roles ever, we shot on the Queen Mary too. And just to be in her presence, she's such a lovely woman and I'm now working on a Hallmark movie that she's in talks to be the, my mother in. So it's so exciting. With the, with the bracelets? Now that was Wonder Woman. Oh, that's who I... Right, right, right. I would have to go with Batman. You know, I'd have to say the Michael Keaton Batmans were my favorite. Oh, he's so cool. He's rich, too. He has all that money. You know, the Batmobile was cool. He has that cool car, that cool flying car, those cool batterings. What Heath Ledger did with the Joker, what Christian Bale's done. I mean, it's just, it's endless. And he has his assistant, which is really cool. When you grow up with a show, it's kind of something in a part of your American staple of who you are. And I love the Batman exhibit. And I really wanted to bring my mother to the Hollywood Museum because it's such a beautiful, iconic place. It used to be the Max Factor factory. I know how much we both love old Hollywood cinema. For the young fan that's watching you right now, what have you learned of being an actor? You want to know the truth? You have to have bionically thick skin. No, we're celebrating all these superheroes. I, I think it would be fun to be one someday. I mean, I'd be perfect as a Catwoman. Well, I do like Catwoman, but probably Wonder Woman. Meow. See? Meow. <laughs> Meow. Would you take the French reporter flying with you as a Batman? I would take the French reporter flying with me. <laughs> My name is Brandon Stennis. Bonjour.